locked. This bin is full of empty bottles. A fishing advertisement. How could he fall asleep at work like this? Excuse me, sir. Wake up. Ah, his breath. He must have swallowed half a distillery. And that explains the how. By his sleeping off the alcohol, you mean? Wake up, please, huh. sir. What? The 18 hours 72 train has arrived? Good day to you. We are investigating the disappearance of last night's train, and we should like to ask you a few questions. Were there any passengers who got off that particular train at your station last night? No. Nobody, it seems to me. Although I did not leave my office, so... No doubt you were very busy. You don't say. You can't ever get any peace around here. Now nah, you have to send a telegram each time a train arrives and departs. Oop. Station Master Bertram from Bridlington showed me a strange telegram that he received from you last night. It concerned the train, but it was barely comprehensible. What? He's a fastidious little twerp, that Bertram. I remember everything quite clearly. It was late, and I was tired, but I did my work. So what? There's no need to be so petty. You were not tired, you were inebriated. Tell me the truth now, or I shall not hesitate to document your state in my report. My friend means that you will end up by being sacked from your position. All right. So I was drunk. I don't remember all of yesterday, to be truthful to you. Please don't go harsh on me. Holmes, this man has consumed a considerable amount of alcohol. He's not entirely helpless yet, but... It will not be long before he is. Obviously, his testimony cannot be trusted. I had thought that all Station Masters knew the Morse code, but apparently not. A telegraph. Locked. There is no sense in asking the station master to open it. We shall have to pick the lock. Bags were recently dragged here. French wine. 
a remarkable vintage. These bottles are too expensive for a station master's wage. They were likely taken from the parcels. Shameful. These tools were used quite recently. They are still muddy. We should ask about them. Railway post bags. You have quite a number of dirty tools lying around here. Ah, yes. Well, thank you for reminding me. I should clean them. Although, might be easier to put them outside. Seems it might start raining soon. I meant, what were they used for? Some workers come here and borrowed them from me. They wanted to lift the edge of the railway to one of the stations on the line, so that the water wouldn't come in too close. Who were these workers? Well, they didn't seem to be from the company, but they was fine lads. They invited me to share a drink, <laughs> and whatever it was, it had a kick to it. They wasn't English. No, I don't believe so. But see, they knew just what a man needed to brighten up his dull evening. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Handcar wheelbase. Interesting. 
It appears that elements of the same construction were scattered everywhere. Watson, please tell me, do you believe in magic? Of course not, Holmes. Then you are of the opinion that a train cannot simply disappear? Well, we both know that that is obvious. Why are you asking such peculiar questions? A little patience, Watson. You will understand my point quite soon. So, are you quite certain that you saw the train at Evesham Station? Well, yes, of course. We saw it coming. The headlights and heard the whistle. But that is it. We didn't see the train itself. Oh, uh, but... Oh, Holmes, I'm a little confused. I should use the appropriate object here. 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 So, now here we have the fake train that we saw approaching Evesham Station last night. Doesn't look much like a train to me. Be patient, Watson. I haven't finished yet. Try using your imagination. Our train requires only a headlight and a steam whistle. We need to attach a headlight and... I need something long for the headlight to be attached. I need something long for the headlight to be attached. The long pole is now attached. It will allow us to connect the headlight. The headlight is attached. The steam whistle is now connected. Holmes, what can we do to make the steam whistle work? It is elementary, my dear Watson. We shall need a fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher. Now let us see what we have here. First of all, let us pump the pressure inside the extinguisher. The steam whistle is ready to be used.
Watson, I do believe that we have created an exact replica of the train that vanished in front of us last night. The criminal mind can be most inventive. I am somewhat in awe. So, such a thing is possible. If someone went to all the trouble of creating this fake train, then it was surely with the intention of stealing the real one. Ah, Watson, you should not jump to conclusions. In fact, this does not tell us very much at all, except that the train did not evaporate into thin air. Although you half suspected it. Huh. At any rate, we now need to find where the real train might be hidden. I suggest we use my archives to find a more detailed map of our surroundings. Well, I hope that justifies our having to load your massive archive suitcase onto the cab. It made us extremely unpopular with our driver. Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. Here it is. There is a side branch to the railway. Its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield stations. There is one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield and Evesham and there should be a side railway to the nearby quarry. There is a small section of a railway at the end of Evesham Station. Minds. This is interesting. The switch is rusted, but it still works. character. He looks anxious. And he is not an Englishman. Hmm. This scent is familiar to me, but in order to recognize it, I must combine my associations into one picture.
a greenish-brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. Ricardo. You already know the name of this man? Holmes, you amaze me. No, Watson, I refer to the cigar. It is a Ricardo Turrent, a Mexican cigar of an excellent quality. Quite an expensive one, too. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. A greenish-brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. These ashes and cigar stubs are similar to the one that we found on the floor. Some of the stubs were recently smoked. There are others that appear fairly old. That means that the fellow spent several days here. Judging by his clothes, he's hardly a traveller or a tramp. Well concluded, my dear fellow. A man who smoked the Ricardo brand of Mexican cigar spent several long days at Doncaster Station. Apparently, there was a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Newspaper articles on horse racing, hurdles, steeplechase, and flat racing. He is a true enthusiast, Holmes. Betting slips for horse racing. The sums are quite impressive. It can be an expensive vice. This man had probably used all his savings. A telegraph. Holmes, look. There's a flooded area over here. Hmm. I believe that the flooded area might be worth checking. Railway post bags. This post bag belongs to the station master. The station master appears to have found himself in some financial trouble. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. John Watson. We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well, good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff, the station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but there's not much that I can tell you about last night.
It appears that you may be at risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean that the whole bloody lake is at our feet? Quite so. But it is strange, because according to my map, there should be a quarry here, and behind that, the lake. How should I know? I only arrived here a few months ago. And where did you work before that? Well, I was working in Nottingham. But I asked for a quieter place, so they transferred me here. Life is cheaper. I can't really complain. Did any passengers leave or board the train last night? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. Just the same as all the other nights. I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town might have helped ease your addiction. But it was not to be. I beg your pardon? Addiction to what? We found a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. Well, well, we all have our weaknesses. An expensive obsession, surely, for a station master. It is none of your business. I occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. There was a gentleman of Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond. Are you quite sure about that? Goodbye, sir. It is obvious that we cannot inspect the quarry. Instead, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. Here we are at the beach that is located near the quarry and Doncaster station. It doesn't look like a very good place to rest. <laughs> 